Now, U.S. stocks, they continue to trade mixed this Monday afternoon as the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones continue to wrap up their best August performances since the 1980s. But for the session, the market's on the downside. The Dow Jones sliding 223.82 points, roughly 0.8% to 28,430, and the S&P 500 dipping 0.2%. The Nasdaq, meanwhile, outperforming with a 0.7% gain and ending the day at 11,775.46. Declines in bank stocks pressuring both the Dow and the S&P today. Meanwhile, in the Forex market, the euro dollars where you begin that cease the bias remained bullish. The British pound U.S. dollar pair intraday, that's under pressure. This is while the U.S. dollar Japanese yen pair intraday continues to see the bias remain bullish. Now, remaining in focus this afternoon, the U.S. dollar Canadian dollar pair, that's capped by a negative trend line. And that's in focus as the pair remains capped by a declining trend line and by its declining 20 and 50 period moving averages. Short positions below 131 are favored with targets at 130.45 and 130.15 in extension. Moving on, the Bitcoin dollar intraday sees the upside prevail as long as 11,570 is the support. The pivot point, 11,570. This wall in precious metals gold intraday sees further advance. Gold, that remains on the upside, this time above its support at 1953.75 and challenging its 20 and 50 period moving averages. Long positions above 1953.75 are favored with targets at 1976 and 1985 in extension. This well silver intraday. That sees further advance.